Hello there, Homeschool Nolan here, here to help you navigate learning in the digital age. This is a time of year when high school seniors across the country are working on their college applications. And if you're a high school senior, there's not much you can do at this point to change the grades and extracurriculars you've achieved over the past three plus years. But one thing you can still change on your application is the college application essay. And in this video, I'd like to share some thoughts on the college application essay and why writing a good one is just part of an ongoing lifelong process of becoming a better writer for life. But first, how important is the college application essay? The fact is, no one really knows for sure. Every individual applicant is different. But if you have impeccable credentials like your state champion in sport, class president, combined with perfect grades and test scores, then your essay probably won't make much difference unless it's poorly written. But if two applicants seem pretty equal and the admissions committee has to choose one over the other, then I would say that the application essay can probably make a difference. To make a difference though, your essay needs to stand out. Some of you may remember a story from back in 2017 of how a high school senior from New Jersey named Ziad Ahmed got into Stanford after writing hashtag Black Lives Matter a hundred times in his application essay. Now, some of us may laugh at this, but none of us on the outside really know whether he got in because of this. I'm guessing though that he must have had pretty good grades and test scores and the rest of his application must have been solid. But one thing I think we can agree on is that an essay such as his was original and it did help him stand out apart from the rest of the pack. So if you're working on your college application essay, try to find ways to make yourself stand out from the thousands of other applicants out there. Remember, college admissions officers have to plow through thousands and thousands of applications each year in a short amount of time. So if you don't stand out in a positive way, you risk losing their interest. Now there are a lot of resources out there including college consultants and books such as this one, writing a successful college application essay, that can help you write a better college application essay. But it goes without saying that it also helps tremendously if you are simply a better writer. But becoming a better writer is an ongoing process that needs to start years before your senior year in high school. And this journey will continue into your college years and beyond. Beyond the college application essay, the ability to write well may be the most important factor in how high and how far you go in life. Take it from me, as someone who's worked in the tech industry for over two decades, I've heard many stories of how otherwise talented engineers and other individual contributors don't get promoted because of their communication skills. You must be able to communicate well through writing, whether it's through an email, a blog, or a memo explaining why an exciting project of yours deserves funding. Writing is hard because it forces you to think precisely about your ideas and how you want to organize and express them before you write them down. In short, becoming a better writer also helps you become a better thinker. Now, if you're a homeschooling parent or teacher, you may have noticed that teaching someone to become a good writer is also hard. It's hard because unlike other subjects such as math, you can't measure a student's progress through an online multiple choice assessment. Becoming a better writer almost always requires one-on-one -on -one instruction with a human being, a tutor or a teacher who can read the student's writing and provide feedback. I also think that the digital age we're living in makes it more challenging to develop good writing habits. Young people today with smartphones are now used to sending short text messages with emojis and internet slang. Because we're continually being bombarded with short texts, comments, and updates, 
our attention spans have also gotten shorter, making it even, making it even harder for writers to hold a reader's attention. Nonetheless, we must all strive to become better writers. And I now like to offer a few tips on how you and your students can become better writers. First, you need to write a lot. Just as athletes have to practice a lot and musicians have to play a lot to get better, the only way you can become a better writer is to write a lot yourself. As I mentioned earlier, you should also have a teacher or a tutor who can read your work and give you constant feedback. For my nine-year-old son, lately I've been having him read children's Bible stories and then have him write a one-page summary of what he reads every day. At first, I would mark up a lot of corrections and suggest edits with a red pen. But after a couple months, I've noticed I've make, been making fewer and fewer corrections for him. I do think having him write every, writing every day just like having him swim every day is making him better and better. In addition to writing a lot, reading a lot will also help you become a better writer. When you read other writers that you enjoy, you will begin to appreciate and imitate their style of writing. So if you want to write fiction, I suggest you read lots of fiction. If you want to read good opinion pieces, read lots of opinion pieces. Reading a lot will also help you build your vocabulary. Having a large vocabulary is essential for being a good writer because it will give you more words you can use to help you express your ideas more concisely and accurately as well as poetically. When I was in high school, I found the best way to build my vocabulary in preparing for the SAT was to read as many classic novels as I could. My favorite authors were Herman Melville, and Edgar Allan Poe. At first, whenever I stumbled upon a new wor word while reading their books, I would look it up in the dictionary. But after a while, I noticed that even if I didn't look up a new word, authors tend to use the same words over and over again. And this helped me learn the meaning of these words simply through the context they were used. Now, writing a lot, reading a lot, and building your vocabulary all take time. But if you're looking for a quick guide on improving your writing style, I recommend The Elements of Style by William Strunk Jr. and E.B. White. Some of you may recognize the name E.B. White as the author of the popular children's book, Charlotte's Web. This book was already a classic when I was a kid, but the advice it gives is just as relevant today, especially when you're writing emails or text messages. To me, the most important advice from this book for me was, to omit needless words. Let me read you an excerpt. Quote, Rigorous writing is concise. A sentence should contain no unnecessary words, a paragraph, no unnecessary sentences, for the same reason that a drawing should have no unnecessary necessary lines and a machine, no unnecessary parts. This requires not that the writer make all sentences short or avoid all detail and treat subjects only in outline, but that every word tell. I can't think of better advice for writing in the digital age when we are constantly flooded with an ocean of words each day through our phones and digital devices. By the way, if you're looking for a comprehensive online platform for learning language arts and other subjects, check out study.com. Study.com has over 83,000 engaging videos on math, English, science, and social studies, all designed to support your homeschooling and supplemental learning. Use the promo code HOMESCHOOLNOLAN and get 30% off for three months. Check out study.com today. In closing, if you're a high school senior working on your college application, I wish you the best of luck as you use your college application essay as an opportunity to stand out from the rest of the crowd. But beyond the college application essay, remember that becoming a better writer is a lifelong journey that will pay dividends well beyond college. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.